Hey, what is going on guys? Hex Competitive back in today with a brand new video. And I put on Twitter today, I made this video and I messed it up. Like the quality wasn't good. As you guys can see, I'll show you my guys, you know, you guys my OBS really quick if I can. Actually, no, I can't do it. So I will not be showing you that. But the words, so like the uh, summary and definitions that I'm highlighting right now on uh, Mahatsuki no Yomi. You couldn't see him. It was too blurry. It's totally fizzled out. So this time I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just going going to go through what I actually chose to watch for you guys. Let me bring my mic up here a little bit. So KK Sensen, that's something I put a maybe by. This is the second season. I heard it's really popular. I mean, I can tell I have it sorted on popularity. If you guys want to go to Annie Char, I just chose to do Annie Char this time, even though I have a my Annie uh, Annie list uh, account. So, but I chose uh, Annie Char to use. I got it on sorted popularity. If you guys want to see the, the exact same list I have, but we're gonna start off with uh, KK Sensen. That was something I said I put a maybe by. I actually have my book right down there. So if I forget anything, I should remember everything I have. So I put a maybe by. Not really sure. I gotta catch up to the second season bones is doing it so it's probably gonna be damn good i remember watching this when i was young like way younger before i was an anime fan actually and it's been a while since season one right it's been like i, I mean like four years or something like that so what do you guys know about this let me know i'm sure you'll have something to tell me about this so i'm looking forward to that and of course we have um Mahatsukai no Yomi. Some people may be worried about this going to an, uh, my anime strike or anime strike, excuse me. But that, I don't see that happening. Crunchyroll's had everything, like everything to do with the movies and stuff. They've been streaming that. Wit Studios doing it, so it should be damn good. And it's getting 24 episodes, so I'm really excited to see what that show's about. You guys can read the summary right there. It's just uh, it says just when all hope seems lost, a faithful encounter awaits her when a man with the head of a beast wielding strange powers obtains her through a slave auction. So, it sounds like it's going to be a beautiful story, kind of like Beauty of the Beast. That's really what I think is going to happen there. Now, Dies Irie. That's something that's really popular. I've never heard of ACGT. I've looked at some of their works already, and I don't I can't, I can't. don't think I rem remembered any of their works that they've made. It's all been old stuff, I think. Yeah, it's all been, like it's like they just came back from the grave. As you can see, that's what they've made right there. So... I don't really know what to expect from them. I don't know. I'm just going to wait and see what the community says. The third season of Shingeki no Baha might... I mean, excuse me, of Shingeki no Soma. <laughs> I mean, you guys see where I made the mistake there, of course. Um, won't be watching that. I, I can't catch up to that, man. I'm trying to watch Gintama. I'm trying to watch... Oh, this other show, I meant to watch KK Sensen, and I don't feel like watching 24 episodes just to catch up to a show right now. Black Clover, that is one that I will be watching 100%. It's going to be 12 episodes, or 13 episodes, which I'm pretty upset about. I was hoping it would be a long-running show, but I, they're doing it the My Hero Academia treatment. Studio, I mean, Studio Perio is already doing freaking, and yes, I said Perio. It's pronounced Perio, not Periot. Fun fact, I learned that from the from the Crunchyroll YouTube channel, actually. I always call it Periot, but it's Perio. Now... <laughs> This, I mean, it makes sense they're doing Borto long running, so it's kind of hard to do Black Clover long running too. So it makes sense that they're doing that. And um, next is uh, Inu Yashiki. Map is making it. I don't know about this one. I don't know. I don't know. I put a big fat maybe with a circle around it because I just, I mean, it looks good. I bet she's going to be good. But I don't know if it's my thing. It's about an old man. And I. I don't know. I, I don't know how I'll feel about an, an older, you know, an old man. That's in his, he's 58. He even says, you guys can see I'll highlight it. It says he's 58. I don't know how I'll feel about an old man, a protagonist that's 58 leading, leading the story. I don't know how accepting I would be of that. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know if I can relate to someone that's that, that's that old, you know. That's a sensei student kind of age right there. So I don't know. I did, I'm not sure. Put it maybe by it. I'll probably wait and see what the community says about it. So... The next thing I chose was Just Because. So Just Because is by Pine Jam. This is an original show they're going to be making. Uh, it focuses on these kids. To go to, You can read the summary right there. But it focuses on these kids that are just waiting to graduate. They're about to graduate. Then a transfer student shows up, and it changes their lives. It changes their perspective i guess you know so i'm really interested in that it's just a straight up romance it, but it says it changes it changes uh 
high, the hay changes these students' high school lives. So um, it's a romance. So what? Does she get with all of them? No, I'm just kidding. But it does say that. It does say that. it says when students have very little time in high school left and are just waiting for graduation, the appearance of a tra new transfer student begins to change what remains of the rest of their high school lives. And it says lives plural. So I am interested in that. Now Lurch, Kino, Notabi. I did choose to pick that up. Lurch has been killing it. Classroom of the Elite. Scum is wish. They've killed it this year. And has anyone noticed the fighting animation in like Classroom Elite is phenomenal? Like, oh my god, when Lurch wants to do some animation, holy shit. And like the fights and the punches and the kicks, like last episode, episode 11 of the Classroom Elite, there's so much weight. I just wanted to make that big point. But, um, Kino no Tabby, the beautiful world. So, Lurch is doing it. It's about a kid who rides a motorcycle, but it's a drama on top of a fantasy. So, I was like, it could be good. He rides a talking motorcycle, seems like really like vanilla but you know lighthearted but uh since it's a drama so i'm interested to see where that goes now the next thing i actually chose i'm not doing get no uh gatsu no lion i chose not to do that yes i chose boku no kanjo ga majimi suguru shogo bitch not kim now i don't know how i'm going to title this in this english title uh, as long as it gets picked well kato kawa is a publisher so it's going to be picked up by one of the, it's going to be picked up by anime strike crunchyroll or someone um, or Funimation, whatever it may be. I don't know. How to, I'm going to be watching this, and I know it's made. Let me know his day. He, didn't, I don't think he. He told me he didn't know anything about it, but he's like, I want to watch this. I want to check it out. And the um, translation is something I can't even say. If you guys want to see the translation, just click on it. You'll see it uh, right around this area. But um, that's neither here nor there. It's a comedy. It's a ro comedy romance and. Uh, Domedia is the one who's working on that. I never heard of them. Now, I was going to watch this show right here, Juni Tazen, but I had a little mishap happen. I clicked on the characters, and I saw a manly dude, clearly a dude with a bulge, muscular as all hell, with a sword, dressed in a bunny co costume, uh, with a big ass bunny tail, and then high heels. What the hell? That's when I said no, because I don't, I, I can't take a serious show that's just listed, list, it's listed as action thriller, guys, like, what the hell, and you're trying to tell me I'm supposed to take that serious when you have a, a jacked male and high heels and a bunny outfit? No. So, now, this one was one that really inter interested me, it is uh, Osama Game, the animation, so I went to Seven, and look what they've made. Seven's made these show, <laughs> Okusama. Is made Boku Ane, and it's made uh, this show turned into a hentai. I'm pretty sure this show is a hentai. Um, it's basically made porn. So, but but let's go back to this and look. It says that the story begins when an entire high school class of 32 people are receiving messages on their cell phones. Um, so wait, I lost my saw on their cell phones from a person known as the king. The messages contain orders that the students must obey or risk the punishment of death. With their lives on the line, the students soon find out that the orders are getting more and more extreme as it, time goes on. But if you don't follow them, you'll lose. So that sounds really damn interesting. Like, I'm interested in that. So, Xiao Zhao, Shumatsu, Ryokao, White Fox. I, it's just like the Made in the Abyss, man. That's just not my art. I, I'm sorry. It's not my art. I just, I can't do childish animation. Because a show could be great. could have beautiful writing. But if I can't, I, if, if, the, if the art does not complement the seri you know, the serious tone of the sh that the show gives off, then I can't watch it. That's as simple as that. I can't watch that. But the next one, Silverlink, I always try to grab a Silverlink show. The story follows the everyday life of uh, Itsuki, a novelist in modern day uh, Pygmalion, Pygmalion, who works day in and day out to create a, uh, the ultimate younger sister. So you guys can read the yes, uh, rest of that. I've already read it. So that one, it's a comedy romance, so I'm interested to see what that's about. It sounds like it could be an incest romance, uh, to be honest. He tries to make the ultimate little sister, and yeah. So I did pick up Sarvito, Sumbito, Saru, Sarvito, Simbito. Sounds like some uh, Spanish stuff, but um. This story is an action, drama, fantasy, sci-fi, so the cover just sold me on it in general. Those two characters look really badass, and I'm 
I, yeah, I mean, the one character looks like Reinhardt, but the story revolves around Jushiki. Um, the equation that governs the quantum constant H of action changes the laws of physics at the local scale, give birth to TNT explosives, poison gas, cause incredible physical phenomena such as plasma nuclear fusion. <gasps> I don't really don't want to read it. I'm skipping a bit. Some of this doesn't even need to be talked about. Then it says, and it goes on to say, uh, two Jushiki who used Jushiki in battle are get. Okay, who wrote this? This doesn't even make sense at this point. But at the end it says, in a battle with dragons in the city of Eridana and in the intrigue of great nation. That tells us nothing. Yeah, and anything it does tell us, it's way too complex to comprehend, but it looks cool. I'm going to find out what's going on. Um, that too, maybe. I need to yell on. But maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure about net shoe yet. And excuse my phone vibrating there. I thought I turned it off. I'm not sure about that yet because I'm out about 10 shows. Uh, Map is doing something again. I want to hold off and see what the anime community. I want to see what like Chibi Reviews and other people that do seasonal anime reviewing. I want to see what they. I'll probably wait for their first couple, first one or two episodes to see what they say about it. Then I'll jump on the bandwagon per se and say, I'll check it out. Let me see my take on it after I see other people's first impressions. But uh, of course, I'll be listening to what you guys say and the rest of the anime community, you know. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, Lurch is making this too. I did not know that. What is it? It's a slice of life. Uh, nah, I won't wait, watch that one. Good time. Uh, I'll be watching that when I'm done with the series. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not done with the series. Let me know. Don't, 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 don't hurt me. I'm not done with the series yet whatsoever. Not even close. I'm about like I'm about, I think I'm one thirds of the way done. So, mm. yeah, I love that smoothie. Um, hey, by the way, it's it's a uh, Silverlink's tenth year anniversary, and decided to make an anime original about cars. But after that, I think that may have been the last thing. Um, I was, that got listed for 24 episodes. Shao Koku no Altair. Mappa made that? I didn't check that out. I don't know how good that is. No one, I never never got around to it. But, I mean, I may pick up Fit Apocrypha again. Uh, Barroom E. Yasoko. I know I was talking about Fit Apocrypha. You know, Apocrypha was the guys. I got to jump on the wagon now. I got to jump on the wagon now. But I just... It's just weird. It, like, the scheduling is weird. It's always five hours late or five hours early. I just never knew what to really do with that. But, so, if you guys are wondering or upset, this one may be one I pick up. So, people who wanted me to pick that one up, be aware I may be picking that one up. Looks interesting. Um, this one could be picked up. Uh, Sengoku Nightblood later on. Because, of course, I'll probably drop... I guarantee I'll drop, like, two of the shows I, I've picked up. Unless <laughs> something miraculous happens. This show, maybe... It's such a slim maybe, though. Um, Juni Tazen. Um, but the one I really right now, this one's popular as all, you know, as all uh, all hell. So maybe. I mean, if I can go to my anime list really quick. Let me, let me go to my anime list really quick for you guys. So my seasonal. All right. So if I go to popularity on my anime list really quick here. Um... It's a show that's way up there. It's at twenty six thousand. It's a towards the top. Fall. I, you know, I never. I didn't know what to expect from fall. But um, for people who want me to use my anime list, here you go. You finally get your wish. But um, it's popular here too. I mean, so maybe I don't know. It's gonna be. It's about action, superpower, magic, and yeah, it's by dies Irie. So I don't know if I'm gonna be. You know, or excuse me, it's by ACGT. So I don't know what's to be going on with that. They made freezing, as you guys can see there. Um, freezing was a not very good show, from what I've been told. But um, sorry about my phone again. But um, yeah. So, um, with that being said, guys, that's probably gonna be the end of the video. I hope this. Do you guys prefer first and foremost? Foremost, if you guys made it to this far in the video, do you prefer me just like picking out what I want and then going over, or do you like going on the journey with me going one by one? I'd love to know your guys' thoughts, but I'll see you guys next time. You guys have been hexed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out my Patreon if you guys want to help me make this a career. See you guys next time.